Welcome back to Minion Moa. So this past week I've been so busy doing sewing, sewing these little jumping rabbits um, for my patrons and I've made these little tags which I haven't really done before but I just wanted to get my stamps out and do something a bit different. So I've quite enjoyed doing it although it does take a while because I've printed on a uh, little bits of fabric and then I've stiffened some um, old vintage book paper and then just glued that on and popped a little hole in and put some twine around to wrap up the parcels so most of these at this point that i'm recording this and most of these have gone now um oh you can see my computer screen is broke and i still haven't had a chance to buy a new computer screen um and this is my highlight of mini so whilst i've been off me like off um as in um on lockdown millie's been showing me how to um how to do highlights and different things on Instagram which I haven't done before so if you go on Instagram just find Minnie Moore and follow me so I've got two um, highlights there so far um, but yeah definitely catch up with me on here because I feel like I'm really getting into Instagram at the minute and um, and uh, it's just a really good way on, on keeping up to date and connecting I prefer it I think so these are the things that I bought with my recent patron money thank you patrons I love my new pink and cheers I've never owned a pair of these before, but I remember using them at school and I loved them. I bought some needles, so instead of having one needle, I have about 100 now. And also uh, pins. <laughs> so, I, like I've mentioned before, I had two pins in the past and that's all I was working with. Um, and this gorgeous 100% calico natural fabric. It's nice and thin, so I'm thinking that's going to be great for today's project. Um, and I bought this speedball ink which is for paper or fabric. It seems to be the best one out there. Um, it's not particularly cheap, but I would imagine it will quite, last quite a while. And um, I've also bought um, these lino cutting mat, um, mats. Now this one I've already started on. Uh, I bought three of these all together. There's a thinner one there and the pink ones are about a centimeter thick, I would say. So, I really was going to do this video on how to make a stamp, like a lino cut stamp, but um, I've started using Movie Maker and um, I have just haven't quite got the hang of it yet. So a lot of the video um, that I took, um, I can't seem to edit it for some reason. So I've already done this. So I've drew a sketch of a B just with pen. Just showing you the thickness there. It looks thinner. That's just because I've carved away a lot of the outside edge. So the idea is you draw your image on, on your on your on your mat and then you cut away the bit that's not the drawn. So at the minute this would just be a silhouette of a bee. So I've used the um the tools that I bought. Oh sorry, just take it off here. Just gonna show you. Just just proof that I finally have moved over to <laughs> Movie Maker. So those pink um clips along the bottom there are me doing the B, um, getting it this far. I really wanted to show you them, but unfortunately that's just not gonna happen this week. I'll probably do a separate video and um, on how to do a line of cut mat and um, a line of cut stamp, I should say. Um, and then you can, um, you know, if you really want to just know how to do it for yourself, that'll be in a bit more detail. Well, I will show you how I do a little bit of this one. Right, I'm just back on the stand now. <laughs> so I bought this this tool as well, and and um, that's what I've been using. I've mainly been using two of the little blades, um, so they're not particularly sharp. The blades um, that I've used, and then I bought this bench hook, which is just great. It keeps everything neat in one area. Even the little bits that come off will just sit in the bench hook, and it protects your table. So this is one of the smallest ends. So all of the products that I um, I bought. Um, were well, mainly on Amazon, so I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out how much they cost or you want to buy them. Um, so, like I say, this is probably one of the smallest tool ends. Um, so it's really easy just to unscrew the end of this tool and you just pop in your, the shape you want. So I went really between this, this the smallest piece and the largest piece, I would say, um, to go over this. So this was by far the most difficult bit once I'd cut out the exterior of the bee um, then it was a case of cutting out some of the inside just so that it looked a bit textured and it wasn't just a black kind of silhouette of a bee um, so yeah it's, so the bits I'm cutting away basically are going to be the bits 
that are not going to be as inked. Um, so I did take a couple of attempts. Once I'd finished this, um, I stamped with it and then I realised the bee didn't look stripy. I needed to take some more bits off. You really have to take your time at this, but it's actually really addictive. Um, once you get started with it, it really is. Um, it's, yeah, it's pretty easy to do. You just have to really be concentrating. But I think the best thing is you're making a unique piece for yourself. I think, I don't know if sometimes people call this block stamping. Um, but um, now I've got this this B image. Sorry, this road's very noisy. It's definitely getting busier outside, I've noticed recently. There's definitely more people about. I um, don't know how that's happening because we're supposed to be locked down. But anyway. So I haven't really edited this very well because I just wanted to get a video on today because it's Friday and I used to always edit um, uh, publish a video on a Friday and I thought it would be nice to do that this week for you. Um, so yeah, um, if I was to guess how long this bee took, I've probably done it, probably done it in about three, three or four half hour sessions if you like. Um, and I, I could have still went longer on it but I think at the end of the day it's a stamp um, it's only so perfect you can get it when it's um, you know when you well if I felt like if this tool was a little bit um, a little bit finer like a little bit narrower so it's got like an it's, so it's like basically like a right angle shape on the end this particular end this particular tool um, and if you can kind of just like not if you don't go very deep you can just scrape like a smaller width going along so like i say this mat is just brilliant this it gets called a bench hook this wooden hook so it just hooks over the end of the table uh, and it just keeps everything nice and still and in one place but i was so chilled out after doing this just before i went to bed one night i literally just couldn't put it down it's a bit like when you have a jigsaw puzzle and it's just like just one more bit. I'm just going to do one more bit. But I was so excited doing this as well because I've, I don't know, I just like to make my own. I mean, I have my own logo, my jumping rabbit bunny. Um, not a stamp, but I have that as, as a thing, you know, that kind of goes with my kind of um, brand, if you like. So, and you know, I love bees. So I just thought this was definitely going to be. So once I finally, was finally happy with the bee stamp, I thought, right, I'm just going to, so what I've done is also change, I turned the bench hook, um, this wooden bench hook the other way around. So then I could push the paper right. It was just great for keeping everything straight and in position. So it's got like a double use. So I'm going to just go on paper, just to start with, try to keep everything really flat and just see what this is going to turn out like. I was actually really excited but nervous at the same time because it's taken so long. And these rubber lino mats, um, which are just like a big rubber, they're not cheap. So I'm going to just use something really hard and flat, although it's not very heavy. So I'm just using my little um, stamp box, um, which I love. I'm not sure if you can still get these. If you can, I'll, I'll leave a link with everything else. So just put a bit of pressure on it. And then that's my first one. So I was quite happy with that for my first one. I know each stamp's going to look slightly different. But um, considering how long this took, I could have turned out much worse than that. So I was quite happy with that. But once I started stamping, I just didn't, I just couldn't stop. So I've decided just to use, um, well, on this on this occasion here, I just I just put the stamp straight into the ink. So I've tried quite a few different techniques. I think what I need to buy, um, I bought, I have ordered a brea, but that hasn't uh, that hasn't arrived yet. And I think the brea is um, to go to roll over the top of them, to uh, roll over the top of the um, stamp. But I think I want something to roll the ink onto the stamp. So I'm just trying again here with this, but I've, I've tried to get more ink under it by just putting it directly into the ink. So it really is tri trial and error. And then just peel it up. So I feel like the wings look a little bit better on that one. There's a definite technique to this to get it right. It's not all about carving it right. You've got to really get the ink right on it and then put some the right amount of pressure on it. 
So I thought I would just do um one more try one more thing. I thought I'd try roller in it. Um just so that it's just to try because I've seen on YouTube I think I've seen people roller or I'm not sure where I've seen it roller um over the top of these stamps but you've got to be really careful because the stamp does move and as soon as it moves even a tiny bit you lose the outline of the bee and it just it just doesn't look as good so and it's quite sticky this um this ink sorry this video is 18 minutes 32 seconds long it's just um i'm trying to get this recorded while, while millie's took the dog out <laughs> because i've gone i won't get get any peace once she comes back she wants to watch a movie and i'm like right let me just narrate my video while you're out take your time um so anyway once i was finally happy with the bee and i've tried stamping it on bits of um bits of card and paper i thought right i'm gonna because I, I want to make some cards for my patrons uh this month and um i really wanted to put a have a b stamp on a card um my own personal b stamp and then put some wording underneath so i haven't got many cards left and i really don't want to well i could probably order some cards online actually that's what i need to do i have got enough for my patrons um so far but not if this goes wrong or the next two go wrong so happy with that i just felt like that was the best one and i was so pleased because that was the first card that i tried to try to stamp on so i just think that looks really cute and it just fits on the card nicely just a nice size so i'm going to be making my patrons like i say um some of these um on the brown card i just think it looks really nice the black ink b on the brown card um if i run out of the br the square I'll just use me like bigger standard size cards, which are, is it six by nine? Oh, I might have gotten that wrong. Um, slightly bigger. Um, so what I think I'll do, because this seems to be going quite well, <laughs> any extra B cards that I've got, I'm going to pop in the shop. Um, but if I don't have any of the smaller little square B cards left, I will just use the, the larger, um, the larger size, which is standard card size. I'm not sure what it is. I put the details in on the description um so i'm not sure where i disappeared at this point oh i know i went to get some stamps so back out with me stamps i've loved using these little stamps lately um i mean it's it wasn't expensive this, this little stamp kit and you can't always tell where the letter's going to go on the paper because it's it's not perfectly in line with where it's been stuck onto the stamp um, but I don't mind if it's a little bit um, skewy because I think it just adds to the character of it and you often do see um, letters like that where they're not quite perfect so I've stamped a B an A another A I've actually I usually use a stamp pad that you can see next to me B, me B here I think it's starting to dry out, so I've actually been just using the ink that I use for the B, the Speedball ink, which feels, um, it seems like stickier, like thicker um, than the than the stamp pad. So I feel like it's a little bit bolder and thicker, the letter in, what it, to what it would usually be. Once I figured out how to edit Movie Maker, I'll speed bits like this up, so you know, happen to wait ages, listen to me, <laughs> you have an on. <laughs> We're 14 minutes now, so you've got 18 minutes, you've got another four minutes to go. Oh, I was actually quite pleased with this. Um, so I'm going to put the words, you might be able to guess, it's be safe, the words be safe on here, because I just think that's quite appropriate. Um, and it's, you can know, keep it for yourself, this little card, or you can give it to somebody, whatever you choose to do. So yeah, I'm going to pop, mm, I don't know whether to pop pops. The thing is, I know most of my customers that buy from the shop uh, live in the US and I don't mean, I don't know if I can, it's just when it comes to postage, although I do free postage, I'm debating whether to put one card in for sale or packs, packs of four maybe. 
I'll have to decide, I'll have to think about that because you might just want one card but to send them one card to the US um, it's probably going to just, like I say, it's going to cost cost more um, anyway, I'm just thinking out loud <laughs> you can just check out the description box below the video if you want to um, go to my website and see what I've decided with these, I love it now I've been really, um, well I was going to use that hexagonal stamp there to do, um, to go over the envelope on the front and then I just thought it's probably going to look a bit lost, um, just the one hexagonal stamp. Um, so I changed my mind on that and then I decided what I'm going to do instead. Yeah, I just think it would just look a bit, maybe, maybe I could do a couple together, a couple of like honeycomb shapes together. But instead I thought I'm just going to pop a bit more ink on my stamp and then just give this a go. It's a little bit tricky because the envelope's not flat, obviously it's not shut. So I just thought, I'm just going to give it a go, if it turns out, it turns out, if it doesn't, it doesn't. I just thought it just adds a little extra touch to the, to the envelope. Obviously when I send these to my patrons, I don't put the card in the envelope, I just keep it all separate. And then if you want to give it as a gift, you, you can. So I thought what I'd do is put a ruler on the top here just to help keep it flat-ish although it's not really happening a great deal it's happened probably a little bit and then put them the stamp on and then kind of put the rolling pin on the center of it and then roll it out found that's the best way really around this so most of your stamps have worked out not everyone has but um looks okay I'm probably not happy with it because the wing on the left's not quite <laughs> not quite as bold as I'd like um, so that might just end up just a um, an example one although I'm happy with my big card I'm probably gonna do another envelope to go with this now oh, I can't tell you how lush pink and shares are now what I thought I would do is have people ask me before for um, oh, what's the word for it when you have a piece you have like a an image on a piece of fabric. Um, oh, I can't remember what the word is for it. So I've had people before asking if I have anything like that so they can do embroidery with it or just use it in a scrapbook or some kind of creative project. So what I thought I'd do, because I'm really stamp happy, I'm quite happy to stamp this bee all day <laughs> long. Um, I should have probably ironed this material, but it's nice. It's flat enough, I think. What I thought I'd do was use some of my new calico material because um, it's quite thin. I did try it on thicker material, but it just wasn't the same. It just The image just didn't look as clear. So what I'm going to do is just stamp. Oh, I love it. I love these. I'm going to just stamp a few. So I'll probably put these in packs of four because um, I have got plenty of this material. So I'll prob probably put these packs of four. And also my bees as well. I'll put the bee cards in the shop as well. So thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope it's been okay because I'm not used to this software. <laughs> but, um, so thank you for watching. Ha keep safe. Um, have a lovely weekend. Um, hopefully I might just be back to post in a video each Friday. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me do my lino print stamp. And um, I've certainly enjoyed all the time I've spent doing all this sewing. Um, yeah, it's just been nice. Just dead relaxing a night, just sitting sewing a bunny. I've done one a night, that's how I work it. <laughs> okay, I can hear my daughter come in. I'm going to go. Have a great weekend. Keep safe. Bye for now.